Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hey, I'm going to talk about these little tags that are on uh, the top of these rail cars. I had a comment on one of my friend's videos that I posted just last weekend on Bruce Turner's HO Scale Layout about the tags on top of the cars. What they are are positions in which for operation. So we're going to kind of go over that because he said he wasn't he couldn't find a video on it. So I'm going to do a video on it. So anyways, as you can see, I have a blue tag on that car right there and no tag on that car. If we move down the line down here, you'll see a gray tag on that car right there. So, All right, so we were at the Riverside Yard area and this is the train brief for the Riverside switch engine. Basically, as you can read, it says expedite train arrivals and departures and pickups for and set outs. Um, starting point is Riverside Yard, which we were at. It gives you the locomotive that you will be using um, and it gives you your duties. So basically, um, this line right here, as you can see, it says pull all loaded coal cars from the Aiden Mine and Riverside Yard for pickup by UP 6253. Pull all cars in Riverside Industries, leaving cars not tagged. So as you can see, you have no tagged cars. So there are a few tagged cars. So basically what we're doing is we're pulling the orange car, the Sioux line, the Grand Trunk, and the Fridge Cold, and we're leaving the other cars. Now that train, you're making up a train that goes down to us to the LA staging. Well, LA in LA staging, there's a train that comes up with tagged cars, color-coded cars, grays, blues, and yellows. And as you can see over here, the Volcom Manufacturing is the yellow cars, and there are numbers on it, on some of those car, on some of those tags, coming in on the incoming train, which tells you which position they're, they're gonna be put in. Example, as you can see right here, um, I have a diagram of RJ Frost, and numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, those are positions in which the cars that have those sequenced numbers will be placed in the same thing with the Pillsbury company and vacuum manufacturer. Cars, cars that have the yellow tags one, two, and three would go inside that area and four, five, and six, seven, eight, so on. So that's how we operate this Riverside area. Now there are other cars now I've seen on my friends Bruce's Turner's layout you can write anything on these cards you can write um, I've seen him write team on some cars right here on top you could write team and that means that car would be set out on the team track uh, you can also have uh, numbered cars like through here so it's basically to keep track of your cards I've also seen people who use color-coded cards as far as like Yellow would be for the Union Pacific. Um, green would be for Burlington Northern. Red would be for Santa Fe. Black would be for Norfolk Southern, and so on and so on. You know, green would be for Seaboard. So you could do it that way. This car, this set of cars right here is set out for the San San Jose Lo or San Jack Local, which is on the other side of the layout. And as you can see, all these cars are tagged. Um, and we have a marker right here that says San, ja San Jack Local. So what happens is the operator will pick up their locomotives from the San, San Jacinto Paris area, um, come to the yard, contact the person working this area to pick up their train. Once they hook up to this train, we remove this card right here and the train gets moved out. And once it comes back into the yard, it is put away. Hang tight and we'll go check out the Santa Cena local. All right, so here we are again. So as you can see, cars are tagged. Um, the lumber car is tagged. The box car is not tagged. There's a box car over there. Um, as you can see, that one tank car is tagged. So basically the person running the San, Santa Cena local would come up, pick up their locomotive right there, take it to the Riverside Yard, pick up those string of cars, bring them back here, start switching. So the fun thing about the tag thing is I can always move that that blue tag to any of those three cars 
and you have to put the non-tagged cars back into the position they were. Um, same thing here, you know, I've got tags that have like the number C and H and G, that's just to, so when you get to a certain area you have positions, I just haven't made enough tags. Here is the Santa Cena local train brief, you provide local service to industries in Paris. Um, starting and starting point is Paris here uh, you go to Paris to part westbound with local and caboose to Riverside Yard you pick up cars on AD track and depart from Paris which are those string of cars over there then you have your list of car your list of when you get here to Paris what you're supposed to do um, as you can see cars with no tags are not to be pulled and then you depart back to Riverside um, drop off your cars Park your local and return back to Paris with your caboose. So that's how it is. That train I was telling you about that goes to Riverside is right here. And as you can see, as I pull it out, right there are the color tags. That one has number two, that has number three, um, and so on and so on. And again, that's to so when it gets to Riverside and they disc the guys operating Riverside Yard disconnects the power from this train they know where those cars are going to go so basically in short that's what how the car tag system or tags on top of the rail cars works i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it held out helped out it's just one of the subscribers that commented on one of the videos we wanted to know about it um i find it easier in end scale than a card card system because the numbers are so small on a rail car you know i have a friend that actually I mean, you don't kind of use all this is is also this is card stock. Um, I just cut up different colored card stocks, put a couple of uh, staples in it to hold it to the car. No big deal, no damage to the car. I have a friend who actually will drill a little hole into all his cars, and he uses the flat thumbtacks, spray paint some different colors, and then coordinates those colors to destinations. Um, he does it on the my friend John Skull Shull. On the Mojave subdivision layout you can see that you'll see the tags on those cars too as well and he writes out all his train briefs basically this gets the same the only difference is I move the tags around and change the chain change the train briefs occasionally but I also use normal paper I use it on a word document and then I laminate it so it doesn't get damaged and I hang here so that's how I do my operations. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, again, thanks for all the subscription or subscribers that have been subscribing. Thanks for all the likes and all the comments on my videos. I really appreciate it. I enjoy doing the videos for you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.